All right, here are Nathan's sons, and they are making a studio for Nathan to record. This is one of the warehouses, and they are in the midst of construction. on the boat some more today. Took a piece to the machine shop yesterday and we're gonna go pick it up in a minute. But first I want to share some of my thoughts with you. Here's the latest piece on my jet boat. This is was most difficult to make, bending that 3 8 inch stock. This is the jet intake. That'll weld up there, and this will go in the bottom of the boat. <clears throat> now I want to talk to you about something that greatly concerns me from time to time. I want to talk to you about taking revenge against the devil. <laughs> I take revenge against the devil every day, against Satan. I take revenge against Sodom and Gomorrah, against the political establishment, the monetary system, the armies of the world, the the people that attack family, infants in the womb, marriage, women. I can't stand to watch a movie that has a woman being hurt in it. It just, it just, I can't stand it. Detective show, something like that. I can't, I can't, I can't watch them. The world is sick. You know it's sick. I, I don't have to tell you that. And there's a lot of people are afraid. They're anxious, they're afraid. <laughs> but you don't have to be afraid. And Jesus said, be not troubled. He said, my peace I give you. And the world we live in, if that's all you had, you'd be a fool not to be afraid. If this were the end of it, if you just lived and died, then there's a miserable existence for most people. That's the reason they turn to drugs and alcohol and pornography and laughing hysterically all the time for stuff that's not funny. Why? Because life is empty for them. But you know how I take revenge on the devil? <clears throat> Several ways. Number one, I enjoy life. In the midst of, of the attack of Satan and the leftist side of the world, the communists, the dictators, the fascist, in the midst of all that, I enjoy life. I enjoy it every day. And I don't think about them. I don't think about the stuff that's coming down on the earth. I shut out uh, other people's pain and suffering. You can't carry it all. You can't, you can't think about all the death and the sorrow and the misery that other people are experiencing and not end up being broken yourself. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon said, there's nothing better for a man under the sun than to uh, work with his hands and enjoy the fruit of his labor. And so I just enjoy working. I enjoy the fruit of my labor. So how can you, how can you take revenge on the devil? Number one, you can have a good marriage. <laughs> In the midst of a world that's against marriages, you can have a good marriage. You can train up your children to love God and walk in righteousness. The devil hates it when you have children that don't fornicate, that don't do drugs. The world hates it. Schools his system hates it. They hates it when, when you won't participate, your kids won't participate. They call themselves righteous. So raise up righteous kids. Take revenge on the devil. Take revenge on this world system. Not through anger, not through bitterness, not through hostility. 
just the sheer joy of living and the pleasure of being. <clears throat> Worship God. Don't let, don't let the infidelity, the atheism, the evolution, the anti-truth apostles, don't let that hold you down. Look up to the heavens, enjoy God. Go, go fishing and enjoy the cathedral. Go hunting and sit quietly in the woods and harvest what God's provided. Grow a garden. Grow a garden and walk out in it and pull a carrot and brush most of the dirt off and eat it and increase your microbiomes. So take revenge on the devil. Do it now, do it today, do it every moment. Take revenge when in a store there's racialism and prejudice and you look at everybody and smile and wish them God's blessings. So the Bible said in the last days, men's hearts will be failing them for fear of the things they see coming up on the earth. My heart's not failing, it's growing and expanding at 78 years old with the love of God and the love of family, the love of friends, the love of life. I'm making this jet boat so I can go out on the river, the Buffalo River, which is narrow, rocky sandbars, and go blasting down it at 40 miles an hour, jumping over sandbars and logs, screaming the whole way. I'm gonna enjoy life. I'm not gonna give it up. I want you to join me. Our number is shrinking. Join me in taking revenge on this world, on the devil. Okay, I'm going to go pick up at the uh, machine shop a piece for this. Unit, I'm proud of this. That's a beautiful work right there. And it, it, it'll weld right here. And have that five and a half inch diameter hole and that's where the water will come in and shoot into my jet pump and propel me down the river at fantastic speeds. See you next time.